Next is the thorn forest and shrubs. In areas which receive less than 70 cm of rainfall, the natural vegetation consists of thorny trees and bushes. In India, they are found in semi-arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Haryana. Main plant species here are palms, euphorbias and cacti. Trees are scattered. They have long penetrating roots into the so that they attain moisture. Stems are succulent to conserve the water. Leaves are thick and small to minimize the evaporation. Forests give away to thorn forests and shrubs in arid areas. So common animals found here are rats, mice, rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger and lion. So in this image we see thorn forest and shrub. Next is mountain forests, wet temperature type of forests. These are found at a height of 1000 to 2000 meters. Evergreen broad leafy trees such as oaks and chestnuts predominate here. So between 1500 to 3000 meters, these temperate forests contain coniferous trees like pine, deodar, silver fir, spruce and cedar. These forests are mostly found in the southern slope of Himalayas. At higher elevations, the temperate grasslands are found. So, at a height more than 360 meters, 3600 meters above the sea level, the temperate forests and grasslands, they give rise to alpine vegetations. Silver fir, juniper, pine, birch, these are the common trees found here. Apart from higher altitudes, mosses and lichens are also found as a part of tundra vegetation. Common animals found here are Kashmir stag, spotted deer, wild sheep, jackrabbit, yak, snow leopard, bears and sheep with thick hair. So this is an image of Next is mangrove forest. So the mangrove tidal forests are found in the areas of coasts influenced by the tides. Mud and silt get accumulated on such coasts. So these ma dense mangroves are common varieties with roots of the plants which are submerged under the water. Deltas of Ganga, Mahanandi, Krishna, Godavari, Kaveri, all these are covered with such vegetation. In the Ganga Paramaputra Delta, Sundari trees are found which provide hard timber. Palm, coconut, kiora, agar are also growing in some parts of the delta. Animals found here are Royal Bengal Tiger, Turtles, Crocodiles, Garials and Snakes. In this image we see the mangrove forest which roots are submerged under the water. Next is Wildlife. India is rich in fauna. It has approximately 90,000 animal species and the country has 2,000 species of birds. It shares 5-8% to 8 of world's amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Elephants are the most majestic animals among the mammals. They are found in wet forests of Assam, Karnataka and Kerala. One-horned rhinoceros are also found in Assam and West Bengal. Areas of Ran of Kutch, Thar Desert, Thar Desert, these are the habitats for wild ass and camels. Indian bison, Nilgai, Chausinga, Gazelle, these are the different species of deer and some other animals found here. India is the only country in the world which has both tigers and lions. Natural habitat of the Indian lion is Gir forest in Gujarat. Tigers are found in the forests of Madhya Pradesh, Sundarbans of West Bengal and Himalayan region. Leopards are also members of cat family. They are the important animals of prey. Himalayas also harbor hard range of animals which can survive in extreme cold. In the rivers, lakes, coastal areas, turtles, crocodiles and garials are found. The bird life in India is also very colourful. Birds found in India are peacocks, pheasants, ducks, parakeets, 
cranes and pigeons. So we have selected our crops from a big biodiverse environment from a reserve of edible plants. We have also experimented and selected many medicinal plants. Fish provide nutritive food. Insects help in pollination of crops and fruit trees. They also exert biological control on insects which are harmful. So every species has a role play in ecosystem and hence conservation is very much essential. To protect the flora and fauna of a country, government has taken many steps. Biosphere reserves have been set up in the country. Financial and technical assistance is provided to many botanical gardens to the government by the government since 1992. Some of the examples of ecological development projects are Project Tiger, Project Rhino, Project Great Indian Bustard. These were introduced by the government. So, 89 national parks, 490 wildlife sanctuaries, zoological gardens are all set up to take care of natural heritage. So, with here we see a biosphere reserve. 